Cancer. Hello, beautiful soul. My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, these are going to be general readings, so if they do resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you would like to schedule a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the detail will be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand advice, messages, and guidance from Spirit that will truly help all of us empaths thrive here on this very dense planet. His information will be down below. Let's get right into this. Get a couple shuffles going forward, you can, sir. And then let's move forward. We have the death card, the lover's card. Ooh, -hoo, love is here for you. Seven of swords, five of cups, and the queen of wands. My goodness. All right, so love is here for you. But the thing is, is I feel like you're holding on to an energy. I feel like you're holding on to a limiting belief or some type of a situation that has happened in the past that's not allowing you to really come into uh, alignment with your true essence. And when this happens, it significantly affects the people and the loved ones that we are with, okay? So in order for you to really capitalize on maybe perhaps uh, achieving more stability in your relationship, achieving a stronger connection, um, getting more happiness, uh, more, more vibrancy, more motivation, more confidence, um, it's really, really important that you let go of the energy that's been keeping you stuck in this time. Now, maybe someone did something did wrong by you. Maybe you were, um, you know, uh, um, you know, maybe you made a choice that uh, wasn't necessarily what you thought, you know, what you would, what you would have wished you made. Maybe you're keeping yourself repeating the same thought. Why did I make this decision? Why did this happen? You know, again, maybe somebody did something and you're like, why did they do this to me? Why did they say this to me? You are just repeating the same thing, the same event and beautiful soul. I got to tell you, I love you. And I need you to understand this and hear this. Okay, Cancer. When you think the same thought, your emotional body responds the same way as if it just happened, which means you're keeping yourself in a, a, a it's like almost like suffering, like self-suffering, right? Because every time you think something and you feel negative, it's quite literally suffering. And so it's, 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 it's painful to feel this because cancer, I really love you and I really don't want you to ever feel like this. And the thing is, is that your life could be so abundant and you could create such significance for yourself. But the minute you continue to keep repeating the same negative experience or the same thought, you keep yourself stuck. You're unable to move forward and you're unable to transform into who you are you came here to be. And your authentic self is ready to break through and shine, baby. But your, 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 your thinking mind, I feel like, is, is, is taking over at this time. And what's important now is to re-strategize. Re-strategize and get yourself out of this, okay? So you need to really be more mindful about your thoughts. You need to take your power back and know that the choice is truly yours, okay? So whether this is a love situation, it doesn't matter how painful it is the more you repeat it the more you habitually retrain your mind to go there right the more you think something the more habit uh, the uh, more of a habit you're going to create around that thought and so it's really important to build new habits right if somebody hurts you or if somebody you know again just said something to you or did something to you and and you just can't seem to get over it energetically you've attached to it now you got to cut the cord the energy cord always comes from our third chakra i would just cut that cord right there make a make a ceremony of it we're cutting the cord See ya. I'm not thinking about this anymore. I'm making a choice. This is my movie and I decide not to waste my energy on this anymore because the minute you release that cord and the minute that you cut it is the minute you achieve freedom. The minute you will be able to make decisions more clearly and the minute you will uh, Remove yourself from this energy of suffering. Beautiful. And again, I can feel right now that there is definitely an element of suffering. And I feel like right now you're confused about what way, what, what, what you need to do, what, what needs to happen. And the thing is, is again, that the more we focus on the problem, the more we're not going to be able, we're going to miss, we're going to be able to see what to, um, what to do next. And in order to be able to get to the what's next, we have to take action. We cannot stay complacent. If we stay complacent with this four of cups energy, you know what happens? What happens is we start to lose ourselves because our energy becomes too psychically clogged up. You ever notice that when you sit for a while or you know you don't take any action steps towards your ho your your hopes and dreams it feels painfully difficult to do you know what i mean if you're safe you're sitting for a while and then you know you you think of the idea of i should really go for a walk and that idea just seems like the hardest thing in the world 
energetically, what's happening is you are collecting and absorbing all of this energy from your thoughts. Every time you think a thought, you're absorbing energy. Um, every time you look at something or, 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 or attract to something, you're absorbing that energy. And so psychically, you're getting weighed down and it feels really dense to move out of that. And that's why people who exercise a lot have more energy because they're clearing away their energy more. And that's why I promote this quite often because for us empaths, it makes us feel so much better and much easier uh, to gravitate towards what's next. And so I can see here though that your thinking mind is kind of taking over a little bit here. And I feel like energy needs to start getting moving cancer. I feel like you need to implement um, more, uh, more, more action, okay? Inspired action. This is gonna get you out of the complacency and get the energy moving forward. And I can see here that big changes will happen when you this when you do so okay you want to be mindful again about um you just want to be mindful and recognize that this is your life at the end of the day this is your life and no matter what someone or, or anyone does or says anything um, to you um, again even if this is a romantic thing um, you've got to understand that you can you control your emotions you control um, you control what happens at the end of the day in your life. Only you can control yourself. I'll put it that way. You can't control what anybody does around you. And when we start to feel like, you know, why did this happen? Why did that happen? We are in a victim mentality. We are in a scarcity mindset. And this um, this happens far too often to us empaths. And I just, uh, we got to make sure that we don't stay there. You know what I mean? We got to make sure we take our power back. And so uh, right now, the universe is saying it's a good time. Okay. It's a really good time to... Uh, adopt a beginner's mentality, right? Maybe look at things from a new lens, a new perspective, and recognize that it might be time uh, to try something different. Uh, when, you know, whenever we need to see change, we need to, we need to be the change we want to see. So we need to re-strategize. We need to rethink about what's going on here. We need to really assess our life and be like, is this what I want for myself? Is this what I'm looking for? Okay, this isn't what I'm looking for. How can I get to where I'm looking for? How can I get to point A to point B? You know, and at that point, you want to sort of allow your energetic body to guide you. And again, if you're energetic body is psychically weighed down from not taking enough action I would the first step I would do is to get out in nature I'd put on my running shoes I'd get out in nature I go for a run I go for a walk walk vigorously you know walk with your arms because you want to get the energy moving you can't just kind of slaunter around that's not going to move the energy enough you see what I'm saying you want to move the energy do some jumping jacks you know anything um, just to get the energy moving because the universe is saying look you're going to have to think on your feet here there's going to be a, a you know you're kind of being called to um you know, make implement new moves and, and, and you're going to have to be able to um, be, you know, aware of what to do next, right? Be able to think on your feet. But if we're again, complacent, we're not going to be able to think on our feet. We're just trying to get through what happens next. You see what I'm saying? So that's why it's look at that. It's really important to have awareness, right? To really have awareness, live in the moment, right? Really live in the present moment because the present moment is all we have. That's where our power lies. The minute we give our energy to the past or the future, we're not, we're not living in our full power because we're, we're, we're giving it away. And I'm going to give you an example with my beautiful crystals here, right? Okay. So say this is all your energy that you have because we only have so much energy and say we give energy um, and, and and to the people in our lives okay and then we give energy to the thoughts we think and then we give energy to all of our struggles and worries and then we give energy to the bills we got to pay very quickly you see you're left with no energy and when this happens we are just trying to get to a baseline we are just trying to survive at that point maybe we over caffeinate then maybe we eat bad things for us because we're just trying to get in some sugar or something that will, will give us life right and we're not able to think on our feet and not only that but we definitely don't have any awareness we definitely are not living in the present moment because we're just trying to figure out how to feel better right and so if we're mindful about where our energy goes right focus on positive things out of life focus on what it is that you can control focus on um, you know uh, the desires you want to create focus on being present in the moment and allowing your energetic body to guide you when you do that when you let your energetic body guide you and you feel your way through life then you're only focused on whatever the universe is guiding giving you at that time and look at how much energy you would have as a matter of fact you collect energy because when you're only focused on what the universe is is, is guiding you you're not giving away all your energy you're just simply allowing the universe to guide you and as a matter of fact you're gaining energy because you're working in alignment with source energy and source energy is what runs through your veins and I can see here that if you just simply surrender to what has happened and just quite simply give it up now and just 
just let it be and live in the moment, have that level of awareness, everything is going to become better for you. And I can see that because we have the celebration card. So Cancer, understand that this is like that premature celebration card. Like even if it hasn't manifested, you get to celebrate what you've been working on because you have been paying your dues, you've been putting in that energy and universe is responding and the universe is validating that it's okay, beautiful soul, let go of, 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 of this energy of maybe things didn't go perfectly, but guess what? They are going and they're right where they need to be. And you're right where you need to be. So embrace it, enjoy it, and know that everything will unfold and everything will manifest exactly how you want it to. As long as you live in the present, have that awareness and simply be guided. All right, beautiful soul. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Cancer. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.